In one of my previous YouTube videos, the F3 steering wheel explanation, I said that I'm gonna also show you the LMP2 steering wheel at the cockpit, so that's actually what we are doing now. Um, it's Saturday, we are in Portimao for the last round of the LMS Championship, and um, yeah, in three hours is quality in two and a half hours, and I just thought about doing a quick video showing you all the buttons and what we are actually touching the whole time when we are in the car. So, enjoy it! That's the cockpit where we are sitting in while driving. Um, we are kind of sitting more on the left side actually. Um, that's our steering wheel. We have quite a lot of buttons and all of them we are actually also using while driving. I'm not allowed to switch on the dash because there is some data which I'm not allowed to show other teams. Um, but yeah, here's the radio button. That's the flashlight so we can press it different times for different options. And that's a beer which still means that you can press it to get some water and actually no beer. Um, here you can switch pages for different different um, numbers so this is acknowledge bu acknowledge button if you change the mode you have to also press acknowledge um, then pit limiter the wipers kill button so to switch off the engine full course yellow to start the engine this is here and then we have some rotaries down here that's the engine mapping which you um, can tune different so poly mode is a different engine mapping than between practice or race mode here we have a throttle mapping, steering mapping, so power steer, mapping 1 is easy, mapping one is, uh, 5 is the highest, which is um, hard, I'm using mapping 4. Then we have a different modes, but actually this button we are not allowed to touch, apart from when the engineer tells us, same with engine mapping and throttle mapping. Then here we have the TCs, so we have the TC slip and TC gain, that's when, when TC hits, and the other one is how much it hits. Um, so we can tune it here from 1 to, I think, 1 to 12. You have 12 different options on both um, TC rotaries. That's another button panel, let's say, which we're using, but those ones are not that important. So here we have an extra kill engine button, actually, if this one on the steering is not working. Then this one we don't use, apart from the engineer telling us, same with this one, same with this one. Same with VPN, it's something to do with data or so. Then here we also have, um, like on a normal road car when you go left or right, I don't know how you say it in English actually. Um, then we have a heater, so if it's raining that the screen is not, uh, the window is not foggy. Um, AC, so if it's getting hot inside because you have a maximum heat which is allowed to be in the car. So if it's too hot you have to switch on AC. Um, then we have the rain light. We have the lights if it's dark or raining, the high beam. And we have the dashboard. Uh, the dash is actually changing also. You can do different lightnesses during night. For example, if it's dark outside and you have a really light screen, it's always like pretty annoying for the eyes. So you can tune it here. And this button you also don't, kind of don't use because that's also when the engineer tells you to um, switch it on. Then here is where you unpl uh, where you plug the radio in. So that's where you put your radio system in. And that's for the drinking system. So here is normally a drinking bottle um, where normally always water is in. So you can then drink during a race um, to not get dehydrated. Above the screen is always a track map. So during driving, for example, if it's, I don't know, yellow in turn eight, and during driving we don't remember which what turn turn 8 is we can always have a look here and see the corner numbers um, especially for example during 24 hours of Le Mans you have I don't know how many corners I think it's like 36 corners or so so it's really difficult to remember all corner numbers so you can also have a look here to check and not be wrong during a race if it's double yellow yellow or whatever that's it with the explanation of the cockpit I'm not allowed to show more because there's always things you can do different in those cars and teams are gonna watch it so yeah it's always keeping secrets um, but yeah I hope you liked it it's a lot more buttons than F3 and also a lot more buttons which we're using actually during driving especially during Le Mans it was crazy and um, yeah hope you liked that video give it a thumbs up and see you next time again uh,